Hi guys, let's go ahead and jump into our lesson um, today for Tuesday, February 23rd. Today, um, you guys are going to be doing a lot of things, so make sure you watch all the way to the end. There's a lot to do today. So today we are finally starting our order and sequence essay. You guys have been working on your Black History Month projects and social studies, and now we are finally transferring that to our essays that we will begin today. So let's just review order and sequence. When we do this order and sequence writing, this is just when you guys are going to put events or something in order of how it happened. You are going to tell about the events of the person that you've been researching in order. Possible keywords, you might want to write some of these down because you will be using them. First, next, then, finally, before, after, second, third, meanwhile, during, dates listed in order, anything like that. Okay. We will be using um, the same exact kind of graphic organizer, like a timeline. You guys will be using it from your timeline that you made in social studies. Another review is just our writing process. Don't forget our first step is pre-writing, our second step is drafting, then we'll revise and edit, and then we will publish. Today we're gonna, we're gonna get to the pre-writing and we might start drafting. Hopefully we will have time, okay? All right, but first let's go through our order and sequence essay requirements. I just made a quick list for you so you know what to expect. There is a rubric that I will post on Buzz as well. You guys are gonna be writing five paragraphs. First you're gonna be talking about, uh, you're gonna have an introduction, then you're going to have their early life, then fame and career, then after fame slash career, um, and then a conclusion. I am going to walk you through every single step of this, so don't freak out. You will be graded, okay? Make sure that your essay is focused on one person. The events are in chronological order. You use transition words, so that first, next, then, finally, things like that. You kind of guide your writing using those. You're going to use facts and your research, so make sure your research is accurate. You're going to explain how the facts are important, and you're going to use precise language and a rich vocabulary. You're also going to use um, proper use of grammar, capitalization, punctuation, spelling, etc. Okay? The rubric is right here. I did post this um, lesson on Bud, but I will also post your rubric. Okay? All right. Our first step is pre-writing. So what we are going to do is you guys are going to fill out a brainstorm. I'm going to show you where it's a digital brainstorm, okay? You are going to include your 10 events. The events should be in order. Um, make sure your events are significant. It's not just like Thurgood Marshall went and got an ice cream cone in 1937. Okay, that, what? Significance, okay? Keep in mind how you're going to organize your essay. We did this for you. So we've got introduction, early life, fame, after fame, conclusion. I'm going to show you what to do. You're going to need two things. You're going to need to be on buzz. You're also going to need to open up your social studies presentation. So I have my I have my social studies presentation here. I did mine on Thurgood Marshall. I really want to use my timeline. So go down to your timeline. Next, I'm going to need buzz. So I'm going to go to first period or whatever period you're in. Open up your ELA class. You are going to scroll down to week eight. This should also show up on your to-do list, but um, if you need to know where it is, it's right here. And I want you to open up your Black History Month order and sequence essay pre-writing. This is going to be similar than, uh, to some stuff that we have been doing. You're going to click to make a copy. You're going to share the document with me. I'll show you that. Then you're going to follow the directions to complete the pre-write form. I'm going to show you how I do that. And then you will turn this in today. This is worth 10 points. So click here to make a copy, first thing. All right, I'm making a copy. Remember, you have to be signed into your school email to be doing that. All right, here I am. The first thing I like to do is switch that copy of to my name. So go ahead and do that. Then you are just going to go to the second page. This is where we are going to pre-write, okay? So what you'll do is you'll just type in here, okay, the things that you want. So in your introduction, we know that we're always going to start off with a hook. I'm just going to bullet point here. Hook, um, who this person is, slash introduction. And then I want you to write thesis statements okay the introduction's a little interesting so there's my brainstorm for there the next thing i'm going to do is early life so what i need to do is i need to go back to my timeline 
Okay, and I know that I want to put 1908 when he was born, when he graduated high school, when he first gets married. Those are all great things that would go in his early life. So I'm just going, I don't have to write those completely. What I want to do is, again, bullet points, okay? Born in 1908, okay? Graduates high school, HS, in, and I might have to go back and look. 1925, gets married in 1929. Okay, that should be enough for here. I might wanna talk about how he goes to college, okay? Um, goes to college and, and law school, okay? Then when I wanna, then I'm gonna look at my next paragraph fame okay and i'm going to brainstorm what's going to go in there so again i go back to my timeline okay okay he starts to be a civil rights lawyer he gets his first major civil rights case win in 1935. what else i go back to my timeline okay uh, he, chief legal counsel for the NAACP, wins Brown Boards of Education. Oops, I keep going to the wrong tab. Sorry, guys. So 1940, chief counsel for the NAACP. 1954, wins Brown First Board of Education. And then I definitely want to look back at here, and I know... What is he most famous for? He becomes a Supreme Court case or a Supreme Court justice in 1967. All right, that really fills in my fame. The next here, I'm going to go. Okay, then I'm going to type in that he retires in 1991. He dies in 1993, okay, but look at that. There's not enough there. So I know that I'm going to need to do some more research on Thurgood Marshall to add to my brainstorm. Does that make sense? Okay, so I want to add to it. So I want to find out what did he do after he retired or later in his life, okay? Your conclusion, okay, I would just type here. Um, you guys can copy exactly what I put for this. Thesis statement, and we'll talk about what that is tomorrow thesis statement, why he was important, and then always clever conclusion, okay? So there is my brainstorm. It's pretty much done. I need to add one more thing in here after some research, okay? So what you're going to do, don't download it as a PDF. Leave it on your Google. Now I'm going to show you how to, um, how to turn it in. Give me one second to get signed in. Shout out to Aiden Myers for always letting me sign into his account to show how we do this. I actually ended up using Amon Delaws, so shout out to Amon. Sorry, Aiden. All right, so I'm going to open up that week eight okay, folder, that Tuesday. And in order to turn this in, I am just going to scroll down, and I'm going to click that plus choose google file okay so again plus choose google document sorry choose google document where i will try to find this of course i'm not going to be able to let's type in this as nugent oh my Look at what it's called. If you, um, give me one second. Sorry, guys. This is Nugent, order and sequence pre write. All right, I finally found it. So I'm gonna click select, then it's there. As long as you shared with me, I should be able to view it. Make sure you share it with me first. If you don't know how to do that, then what you're going to do is you're just going to go to this document. You're gonna click share. 
you are going to type in D Nugent. I should pop up pretty easily and you'll hit send. Okay. Make sure you share it with me before you turn it in. That's the key. Make sure you share it with me. Okay. Then I would then submit my work. Okay. But Amon doesn't need to do that yet. If you have any questions, please, please, please come to Zoom today. Come to my office hours. Come see me tomorrow. Uh, this pre-write is the most important thing that we'll do today. We're not going to get into our hook until tomorrow. Um, this just is going to take you guys a while. Use your research from social studies. If you're not quite done with that, you need to get on it because it is due today, hopefully, from your teacher. Um, if you have any questions, please, please, please let me know. I will see half of you today and half of you on um, Thursday, Friday. So if you have any questions, please let me know.